Hello. In this game, uh, we have Walmart and Target, and we'll see that one of these firms does not have a dominant strategy. So the, the payoffs represent profits. The first number uh, in a cell are the, are the profits that go to Target. The second number in the cell are the profits that go to Walmart. All right. Uh, so let's try to find Target's dominant strategy. What should Target do if Walmart were to refurbish its store? If Walmart were to refurbish its store, the game would end up in this first column and Target would get the highest payoff by refurbishing its store. 60 is greater than 45. So once again, if you're Target and you think Walmart's going to refurbish, your highest payoff would come from refurbishing your store too. Now, what should Target do if Walmart decides to leave its store unchanged? If Walmart is committed to leaving its store unchanged, the game would end up in this last column, Walmart plays unchanged strategy. What should you do as Target? If you were to refurbish your store, you would get $65 a profit. If you were to leave your store unchanged, you would get 70 So if Walmart leaves its store unchanged, the best thing for Target to do is to leave its store unchanged as well. Therefore, we have an inconsistency uh, in the strategies here for Target. So Target does not have a dominant strategy. Target doesn't have that one best strategy that is best no matter what Walmart chooses to do. All right, let's now uh, move our attention to Walmart. Uh, here we're going to see Walmart does have a dominant strategy. So you're Walmart, and what should you do if you think Target is going to refurbish its, its store? If Target is committed to refurbishing its store, the game would end up in this top row. Walmart, you only care about the second number, the profits that go to your store. So if Target is committed to refurbishing, 120 is bigger than 80. So Walmart should refurbish if Target refurbishes. Now let's move our attention to what should Walmart do if Target leaves its store unchanged. If Target leaves its store unchanged, the game would be in this bottom row. Again, Walmart, you only care, your profits are the second number here. Your profits are higher if you were to refurbish than if you were to leave your store unchanged. 150 is greater than 95. So Walmart does have a dominant strategy. They have a strategy that is best no matter what Target chooses to do. So let's find the game's outcome. Walmart will play its dominant strategy to refurbish. Target knows this. Target knows Walmart will refurbish. Again, the, the critical assumption here is that this payoff matrix is complete information. Target knows Walmart has a dominant strategy, and Walmart will play refurbish. So if you're Target then, and you know Walmart will play its dominant strategy, you're going to seek the highest payoff, and that would come from you also refurbishing. So Target will choose then the refurbish too. Again, keep in mind, Target technically does not have a dominant strategy, okay? Uh, but Target will play refurbish uh, because it knows Walmart will refurbish. And by Target playing refurbish, it leads to uh, its highest outcome. The Nash Equilibrium, uh, we basically found it, is both stores will be refurbished. Target will refurbish its store. Walmart will refurbish its store. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.